Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at Dr. 3D Filament's ABS plus PA or nylon blend filament. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a ABS slash PA or nylon and this is a blend of filament from Dr. 3D filament and I haven't seen this manufacturer before but they say on the on the note that you should bake it for 24 hours at 40C before printing and I just had it in a bag with desiccant and I printed it out like that and had pretty good results so I want to show you some of my prints. I first printed out this stringing test or positive features test and I had a little bit of stringing but nothing serious and some artifacts in the, in the finer details here but other than that it was working quite well and it's a rather good layer adhesion I was getting in this filament and it's somewhat brittle at the topmost part but that's normal for this test print this came out pretty decent I then printed out a, a bridging test and I had printed out one initially that got loose from the bed due to some warping and that was probably my fault I didn't clean the bed properly and uh, when I did clean the bed I got this print working for me and as you can see there are some stringing and, and drooping issues so it's not very clean print but it's a nylon based filament so stringing is it's not a big surprise for me on, on this filament and the strength of the filament is, is very good and it's a pretty good layer adhesion it's quite difficult to, to break it apart I then printed out those samples and one is uh, printed on the bed like this and the other one is, is printed like this and I already broke the part that was lying on the bed like this so the layer adhesion test was already broken but it has had pretty good layer adhesion and the other prints it's, it's quite strong and, and as you can see it tend to bend and, and break it's quite difficult to to bend like this so the nylon in the filament is is working quite well it is quite difficult to break this part it just uh, bends and bends so strength wise you get the benefits of, of, of the nylon and the abs in the filament is probably more helping out in regard to the stringing issue i printed it out this overhang test and i just broke this but uh, the overhangs came out pretty good and even at 70 degrees the surface finish was quite good and there was nothing to complain there was some like warping on this end and maybe i printed it a little bit too fast but as you can see there's a small amount of, of drooping on the end here but other than that the surface finish is, is quite good so i was quite happy with that i printed out two hooks like this and this is just a functional print that you can use double-sided tape to glue on the on on the wall and hang something up but inside here is a very steep overhang and this came out excellent and absolutely no issues here in the inside as you can see in the, in the print it just came out excellent so overhang with this filament was very good and this is just a smaller version that also came out excellent and this is a, it's just a practical print I had some things I want to hang on the wall and decided to print a functional part just to test it out so this is very strong I've been trying to break this apart and it's it's quite difficult to get this to move <laughs> but uh, the nylon has has very good mechanical properties so this is working quite well I ended up printing an Omnum by Tessa and this print is maybe not a typical nylon print but this model printed out without any issues and here on the top even it's just working quite well and no issues in any part of this print so if you want to use this filament to print out organic models it's working very well and it's very stiff and strong model and very difficult to to bend this filament and this was working excellent for me so I was quite happy with this print so this was the ASA slash PA or polyamide nylon blend from Dr. 3D filaments 
Um, this filament came out excellent. I was quite happy with this filament. Uh, it was very easy to print. I, I printed out at 260 degrees on the hot end and 100 degrees on the bed. And I printed that rather slowly, maybe 45 millimeters per second, as suggested on the label. Um, with those settings, it came out excellent. Um, I, was, I was using glue stick on the PI sheet on my Prusa MK3 printer with those prints and had uh, quite good results with that bed adhesion method. So that was my quick look at this uh, ABS slash nylon filament from Dr. 3D Filaments. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching.